Hi, it's Shari from Fiyama Life and today I wanted to address a question I guess asked quite often because I forgot and I made the same mistake. This is the one of the things that I tell people not to do all the time. So often I get asked, how do I store my chocolate? And today I'm not going to address the issue about do you put it in the fridge or not because here in Melbourne it's winter and if you're like me, certainly not a consideration at the moment. But there's another element of how you store your chocolate and that's that chocolate is really, really porous. Um, both as a bean and when it's being processed and in our master classes we talk about why that's important because there's some pretty nasty chemicals hanging around some of the cheaper beans when they're being processed but when it's a chocolate as well and being porous it absorbs smells really easily so I always advise not to put it next to your blue cheese or your garlic or anything because it's probably not going to mix so well but yesterday I realized I was guilty of the same thing because I looked in my cupboard and this is my current stash of my own chocolate at the moment. And I realized I had it stored with several bags of this coffee. And every time I opened the cupboard door, you could smell this amazing coffee. Wonderful. Doesn't go so with chocolate. So number one tip, don't store your chocolate with anything that has a strong odor to it. It is going to potentially absorb that if you need to put it in an airtight container. Personally, I just moved my coffee somewhere else and now I just need to eat this chocolate. Hope that helps you with your chocolate storage. Um, for more information on how to store your chocolate, I did write a blog article on it a little while ago. So head to my website, www.fiama.life and you can find out a little bit more. Thanks and happy chocolate eating. Ciao.